Today we're gonna find some really big gold. But we're probably gonna have to start a new save file because for some reason the game doesn't love this one. Personally, I think it's being a crybaby. But then again, what do I know? I've got a million save files, none of which work very well at all. Now this is the kind of new thing we're here to play with today. And it even comes with a handy drawing in case we don't know how to use it. Unfortunately, it's very expensive. I'm just kidding. It's absolutely free because we're dirty cheaters. The same with this one. I don't really know what it does yet, but we're gonna go ahead and buy it anyway. It penetrates the ground. There's also some new NPCs that we will absolutely find a way to torture, but we've got better things to do for now. First, we're gonna need some ground, and I've picked my favorite one in the world to abuse. And all it costs is 6,600 hard-earned dollars. So we just need to drive this Ferrari to the ground. At which point we can use the magical power of penetration. It turns out penetration by itself isn't enough. What I need also is a prospecting helmet, which is a very expensive 430 Ts. Or free, because I have no shame and I just don't care. But not only does this helmet make you look 40% cooler, it'll also tell you where the veins of ore are down below. That way there's no more guessing, you have what we here like to call educated penetration. A few stabs later and we found a seam of energy gems down below. And I was wondering for a while why this needed a satellite dish and now I think I understand, it tries to point you towards where the veins are underground. Because when it starts doing its happy dance you know it's time to probe. And here we found a seam of iron, which is really boring, we can do better. This has got to be something good, and I think it's more iron. I find that iron so exciting that we're going to go ahead and mine the energy shards. And actually if we sink a hole, you can actually see the energy vein down there. So this is probably the first time I've ever dug into the ground and had successful results. While I was gently opening up the mine site around it, I got a little curious as if we could take this dart and place it somewhere else if it's all so full of gems. It appears to be a pile of dirt. Whatever the case, we need to see exactly how many power crystals are in this dirt. So we just need to set up a little operation. A few short minutes later, we're able to mine sparkly dirt. We're going to send it up there where it's going to get mulched up there and hopefully rain down gems. So there goes the first piece of dirt. There goes the second piece of dirt. Now we sit here and watch the gems rain down. They're just about to enter in our first piece of iron. I don't think they'll be all gems, but they'll be more gems than normal. So far, our high grade gem dirt has yielded us two tiny little gems and five other pieces of garbage. This is very basic level dirt though, so stuff is only going to be about this big. It definitely is finding a high amount of gems considering the level of dirt it is, and we could compress these into a bigger gem. Each one currently weighs about two pounds, or two whatever the units are they use in wherever we are. So that was a worthwhile adventure, let's go deeper. Now as we make our way down, this is as deep as we're allowed to go with a tier 1 pickaxe. Which is obviously pretty fun, but we can still go deeper. What we need is a common pickaxe that only costs $740. And it'll let us go right through this harder dirt. Until the point where we hit what's tier 3 dirt. Normally this is the point where I just give up on life. Because it's a long ways down before you hit the tier 3 dirt. But luckily for us now, there's an advanced pickaxe for 1240 Ts. Which means if we jump ourselves back down to the middle of the earth, we can actually mine through this dirt now. But because there's something wrong with me, I can't help but wonder if there's ore veins in the deep dirt. We just couldn't see it from the surface because we're too far away. So how long do you think it would take to strip away this dirt down to that lower layer? A really, really long time. Even with this ridiculously overpowered pickaxe. But interestingly, we can see where all the veins of ore are. This one is crystals, and we did find one that's a presumably gold. But I'm hoping there's still more even deeper down. And the next layer of dirt was even more fun. Interestingly though, I did find this gold one that's probably into the tier 3 dirt, so that's probably going to be pretty valuable stuff. But there's only one way to really find out. I mean, we could Google it, or we could painstakingly set this thing up and let it go. So the Cloudium Drill can at least mine through the tier 3 dirt, and the Cloudium Harvester will give us some reasonable sized chunks of probably mostly gold at this point. Oh, my life is so exciting. I thought the gold would be bigger down here, but so far we're at a 4 to 2 gold to iron ratio. Okay, I definitely think there's something to that gold spot. It's giving a lot of gold compared to what it normally does. So we'll let it run here for a little bit and see what happens. Several hours later and we have a small pile of gold. And it does appear to be a much higher amount of gold than it normally is. With the occasional piece of Cloudium and also what I assume is a new core stone ore. We also even have a piece of Onyx so we're finding all the rare stuff. But I am curious, a piece of Onyx is worth 672 uncut. Gold is worth 76. Cloudium, 727, and Core Stone, 99. I thought it'd be more valuable. Maybe it's what we make out of the Core Stone that gets valuable. Well, Core Stone can at least make pipes. Anyways, we're gonna deal with this guy for a little bit. Why is he looking over my head? I feel like he's not making eye contact. But what he wants is a knife, 200 weight. 
So luckily here I've got quite a stockpile going so that should be enough to get 200 weight of gold. So if every big size piece weighs about 5 pounds, we're only going to need about 40 of these. What would be really cool right now is if there was a magnet for particular different ores, that way you could scoop up all the gold out of there and leave all the other stuff behind. Because I've already lost count. But that's probably more than enough. Or we don't need to talk about it. This one I have a little more confidence in. 246 pounds, so we're 46 pounds over. But he said he wants 200, not 246, and there's no way I'm overpaying that moron, so we're gonna do it again. So, hot thing on the thing, and smash, there it is. The golden wonder. Please tell me you're gonna shank someone important with this. Thank you, and the door is open. <laughs> and I'll put these somewhere very important. She wants vegetables. He wants a sword. He doesn't want any sword. That's quite a sword. Sir, are you willing to pay me for that? That's ridiculous. 400 weight core stone, 1,000 in gold bars. We can go through a whole bunch of work to get a better drill and harvester down here. You just need to follow these instructions. And wow, look at that. I work so hard. And this is a core stone drill, so it's even better. So I just need to swap it out for this garbage. And we also can't forget about the better harvester. That's going to spit gold out the other side, but that's okay because I think it's going to be a lot bigger. Okay, it's already launching rocks. And they're coming out fast. Ooh, this is going to be a big producer. And out comes the gold. It's of roughly the same size as before, but it is coming out a lot faster. I think the best part about working way down here is my super pickaxe can actually mine through this stuff. Only this pickaxe can, and it's really slow. I decided we were going to need more dirt going up the thing. That way we get more gold. So I added 14 drills, which means we're going to have 15 in total, all spitting out gold at a very high speed. Okay, I managed to get them all going. It's not as easy as it looks. Some of them might not actually have dirt under them yet. Not sure that's a huge deal because there's a lot of dirt chunks going up. And there we go, it's finally a steady stream. Now we can have a shower of gold like I've always wanted. That is kind of insane though that those are just drills you can get within the game, spitting stuff out that fast. There's only 15 of them. I already forget what we're supposed to be making though, so I should probably find the instructions before I bury that. A lot of coarse stone, even more gold, and even more iron. Decided to be smart and add a little upgrades since I've already put this much effort into this world. All that dirt's gonna come up here, get mulch, get spit out here, get organized into its individual quantities, go into the automatic smelters, and then the gems are gonna spit out the end, get polished, and drop down there. But let's see what happens, since my plans actually have about a 14% chance of ever working properly. All this stuff is going through, and actually seems to be working fairly well so far, so I'm excited about that. This might be the first time ever that it's actually worked the way it's supposed to on the first try. So now we just gotta sit back and let the magic happen for a while. I just realized how much better the lighting is when you don't have a uh, thousand kilotons of dirt above your head. I should just mine it out like this every time. That way it's not an underground build in the dark. It's just a gaping hole in the ground that took 40 hours to do. So idiot stick needs 400 weight of core stone. We can check to see how much we actually have already. Given the speed at which it mines, we're actually almost halfway there. That's really alarmingly quick. As for the gold, it's actually already over 5,000 pounds, so that's going to be more than enough. The iron had 50% more even. In a short 3 minutes later, we have a 420 pound core stone bar worth $10,000. This is definitely going to be pretty valuable once it's all done. Are you red yet? I don't know if that works. Nope. I may have just been placing them wrong. I sure was. One sword. What's this thing worth? $264,000. Hi, it's me again. By the way, would you like to do me a job for a quarter million dollars? Not what you wanted. Oh, that's Cloudium, isn't it? That's not Cory Stone at all. Well, this is embarrassing, but I made a quarter million dollar sword and it's not the right one. Luckily, my mind works so incredibly fast that I probably have more than enough already. Yep, there's the 500 Cloudium I need. That would be the hardest part anyways. So, let's try that again, hopefully with the appropriate sword. 12,000 iron, 520 cloudium, 10,000 gold. Where the mod is 612,000. If you don't accept this, I'm going to stab you in the heart with it. Uh, they say what, I wanted. what do you mean to say what you wanted? What is it you want from me? I don't understand anymore. I just realized you've got to put them in order. The handle's made of core stone, the hilt guard is made out of gold, and the blade is made of iron. So I've been building it wrong, because you're a very picky moron. I think we're getting to the point where I might have to clear some resources. The game is slowing down just a smidge. Yeah, that's much better. Raw resources are clear. The game is perfectly smooth again. Look at this pool of gems we have. Okay, so I think it was right the first time. We need core stone. Okay, core stone is spot one. Iron is at the end and gold is in between. This one's core stone, that was number one. Uh, this was gold, gold was in the middle, iron was spot number three. Okay, I now have what I believe to be the correct sword. Are you happy with this? 
Is this one good enough for you? Finally. May I go past? I'm not allowed to go past, but I did get the coins. What is it you want? 300 weight cut beetroot, 300 weight cut broccoli, which would involve a whole lot of farming. So let's pretend we grew a bunch of nice crops. These are the beets, the broccoli's already in there, and we can just add them to our soup or have to make new soup potentially. Yep, there we go. We're growing all sorts of new things in real time. Pretty sure that's the soup we need, so we pour it in there. There's a big expensive soup. Here you go, your majesty. One obnoxiously expensive soup. And that guy up there has a crown. Can I not deal with you and just go kill him? Uh, it appears that I can hop up the railing, but this is as far as I can get, at least for now. I'd be hiding too if I had such tiny little legs. Okay, idiot stick wants a lobster. You know the ocean's full of those, right? And we're surrounded by ocean. <laughs> you want a lobster, do you? I've got one <laughs> that's as big as you are, in fact. 1.5 weight lobster. Yeah, this is probably 150 pounds, so that should probably do ya. You're quite welcome, my very annoying friend. You need a ring. 700 onyx and 200, I don't even know what that is. It looks kind of like Claudium. Do I at some point get rewarded for doing all this, or is this just sort of for funsies? Yep, that's 2000 Claudium and 700 onyx. Well, at least things have been mining non-stop since I've been running around doing this, so I probably actually have a lot of stuff stockpiled. 2000 Claudium, though, is quite an order. Like, we're mining super quick, but I don't know if we're mining that quick. 850 at current. It's sad to say, but Onyx might actually be the harder part of that because it's so very rare. And each one weighs 5 whole pounds. So I'll take each 5 pound Onyx one at a time and put it into my compressor. Just kidding, I will absolutely not do that because picking up the few that I could find easily on the surface has yielded me one single gem that weighs 63 pounds. So not quite one tenth of the way there. But oh look, a wild onyx has appeared. And it seems to weigh a full 1,000 pounds for $250,000. What a happy coincidence. So what we gotta do is combine that with the Claudium and we have one obnoxiously expensive ring. 3,000 Claudium, 1,000 onyx in there. Given how expensive this is and who it's for, the reward has gotta be great. Here you go, you absolute moron. One bizarrely expensive ring. Your father would have loved this. Creates dirt chunks inside dig sites. You do know there's already dirt inside the dig sites, yes? In fact, removing a lot of dirt is how we got to this point. But I guess since we worked so hard to get it, we might as well use it. I'm not sure how to feel about this yet. In order to make myself feel better, we're going to drop a big piece of gold into there. And a big piece of cloudium into there and a big piece of core stone into there because we're going to make something of absurd value. I got it all planned out. It's going to have a golden uh, blade, so that needs to go in spot three. A red uh, guard thing and whatever that is, and there we go. One beautiful sword, 100,000 of every ore. It's worth more than this entire kingdom. And it's funny because I was wondering if you could re legitimately make something like this before the game crashed. And I'd saved up 35,000 gold bars in a time I'd been gone anyway, so you could easily do it. It would just take some hours. But for you, those of you that are curious, like this fine gentleman, the sword itself is now worth 3,300,000, nope, 33,009,593 dollars. Can I get that in a currency that's not a large pile of coins? 